Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, the world of Wayne. It's been a while for this one, but we have got the next issue of the Fan Home Release, Issue 5 of Build the Fast and Furious Dodge Charger. Now in this issue, we're going to be connecting the front left wheel to the chassis, but before we go anywhere near this issue, I think it's probably good to just give you a recap and let you know what we've done at the moment. So here's these amazing parts. That's the front headlights and grill looking like that. That is brilliant. We've also got the uh, supercharger, which looks just like that. Obviously that's gonna fit into this lovely gleaming bonnet there. So if I just put that down there, supercharger's gonna be fitting on it, kind of like that. Uh, these are all just from issues one, two, three, and four. We've got the steering wheel, all metal looking like that we do have this little spring which was left over from part four we're going to need that in this stage i believe and then we've obviously got the wheel and the brake with the caliper in it and uh, the suspension already installed there now if you want to get this all the way from issue one i've put the link for fan home just down here just go over to fan home you can get that for yourself fan home has got a plethora as well of other things that you can get you've got the star wars bus collection you've got the iron man build which i'm doing you've got a street fighter collection you've also got the r2d2 i believe coming out in april so uh, that's pretty good but let me show you what we've got in issue five so look there's the pack look at that great big bit of chassis there that we're going to be attaching to the vehicle as you can see loads of screws in this one as well but we're going to be uh, putting some more details just onto the wheel that we were working on there then we're going to be working on the chassis and then we're going to be connecting the wheel to the chassis i believe that's it for that stage uh, i don't know if it tells us what's coming in the next stage it doesn't but i do have the next stage you can see stage six is just sitting behind me and the good news is i'm going to be doing that on the live stream tonight so if you tune in at eight o'clock greenwich mean time on the i don't know what today is the 23rd of march 2021 you'll be able to see me building that live but without further ado let's get cracking so the first thing we're going to need is the wheel looking like that and we're also interested in this whole just down the bottom there trying to show you on the close-up and the tie rod end which is a tiny piece looking just like that that's just going to fit into the top of the hole like that then we're going to need the actual tie rod this is going to be going either side of the tie rod end just like that and it's going to be held in with a jm screw now you know what i'm going to say it's an m screw so i have put it in just a little bit of oil there i'm just going to line this up and then screw it in from this side here. Just like that. And make sure that screw goes all the way through to the other side. You do want some play in this. So you want this to be able to move just like that. But it should again just hold its own weight in there. It shouldn't be too loose. So a very strange one now where we put this piston inside the uh, housing there we actually just need to separate that now just like that because we're going to be putting the spring in like that from the last stage why we couldn't do that in the last stage is completely beyond me <laughs> doesn't, doesn't make sense does it but because this is going to be hard to get in but once that springs in there just maneuver it round so you can get that cylinder back in like that and then hold together so now as you can see we've got some suspension there we can put that to one side because now we need to take out the big chassis section looking just like that i'm glad the camera at the top is zoomed out there so you can see that in all its glory is metal painted absolutely perfectly so the first detail we've got looks just like that that's just going to go in this area here we do have two different size holes on this side so we want the way that it will fit perfectly flush and flat in there if it's not fitting flat in there you got it the wrong way around but we are going to hold that in with cm screws so i've got them here now pretty much this whole part of the build is going to be in metal so i think every single screw you see me do i will be putting in a little bit of oil so just assume if you don't see it on camera i've done that so that's one And there's the second one. Again, 
nice and tight. Now the second detail we've got looks like this and is actually in a packet. So uh, we'll open this one up. And this one's gonna be going in this way round with this end facing upwards just over the lug that we can see or the hole we can see just in there. And that's gonna be held in with an AM screw. So I've loaded that up there, line it up, and there we go. And make that nice and tight. Then the next thing we've got is this metal torsion bar here. Taking note of this end here, it's actually just gonna go into the hole that we can just see there. So I'll just lie that back down again. This is gonna go in here like this. I'm just gonna turn it over because it does actually come upwards like that. Uh, but we do need to uh, uh, secure this from this end with a DM screw. Now the DM screw is a flanged screw looking just like that. And that's just gonna go in from this end here. I've put it in a bit of metal and make that nice and tight. Just like that. Now we've got this other metal detail like that. This is actually just gonna support the torsion bar. So we're gonna put that in the ends like that. This is gonna be secured to the chassis just at the point you see there. That's gonna be held in with an IM screw. God, we've got a lot of different screws in this one, don't we? <laughs> Again, this is a flanged screw, but it is a lot longer than the one we just worked on there. So I've held that in with my thumb. And now screw that all the way down. Again, make sure this is nice and tight because you don't want this working loose. But as you can see, that's lovely and secure in there now. We're gonna turn it back over because we're gonna be attaching the wheel now. Now on the torsion side of the vehicle here, the wheel is just gonna be attaching into this section just here. Now, as you can see on the bottom of the wheel, probably on the close up, we've got two lugs here. We're just gonna position that over that section there, making sure that suspension trailing arm is going underneath the chassis. Just like that. As you can see, we're gonna be securing that in from the other side with FM screws. So I'm just gonna kind of hold that in place. You do wanna make sure that this arm here is obviously this side of the chassis and not trapped underneath. Uh, the same with the tie rod there. Now these screws here, I'm just gonna put in very gently just till I've got it lined up and in place. That's one in. Just do the second one. Once again, I am putting these in a tiny bit of oil. The oil I use is just a three in one oil. And that's the second one in there. And then we just tighten these up. And you know you've got that in all the way. You shouldn't be able to see any light under that section just there. But as you can see, the wheel is now on the vehicle. Now picture 5.8 on this looks very deceiving. It looks like this tie rod end is actually connected to something. Uh, I can't see anything that is connected to at the moment. So we're leaving this one loose, uh, but we are gonna be taking this section here, putting it at the end of the torsion bar, just like this. So it's locked into place like that. It's gonna be held in from this side with an EM screw. So I've got that here. EM screws, just one of the flanged ones here. Put it in the other side and get this screwed in. Again, make sure that's as tight as you can get it. Just like that. And that is the wheel attached, looking like that on the top camera. That's what it looks like so far underneath the vehicle. And that's all there is to do in that stage. Now we're gonna be building onto this into uh, issue six and we are gonna be attaching that bit that you can see looked like it went somewhere in this issue, but it doesn't, it actually goes in in issue six. I've looked ahead, <laughs> but I really do hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.